I'm pretty sure I'm the only human alive on the planet right now who doesn't use a cell phone. I'm 70% caveman and I'm sticking to my roots. And let's talk about why I will never, unless you can convince me otherwise. So the reason I don't use a cell phone is probably not what you think. It's not because of oh, the radiation. It is that, and we'll get to that. But really, it comes down to my loner personality. I'm a loser. I'll be honest with you. I don't have any friends that I see regularly. I just, I don't. I don't hang with the boys. There are no boys. There's the one girl. I got a girl. I'm not a complete hobo loser. I have a girlfriend. But the reality is I just, I have no need for a phone. Once I leave the house, I go out to do things. I don't, I'm not on there. I'm not looking at things. If I take a bus, I'm not one of those people who need to play a game and just oh, distract. I have too many crazy thoughts. Escape candies, candy crush. I can do this. When I'm on the bus, I'm just sitting there in my own thoughts. It's like, oh, this is cool. I'm no longer looking at a computer screen. I spend way too much time on the computer. I work and have fun here. <laughs> so I'm like working, editing videos, like, okay, take a break. We're back here. We're back here. So when I leave the house, it's time to stop and disconnect from this. Go out in nature. It's like, okay, breathe in the fresh air. The wind. Oh, squirrels, feed some squirrels. Hey, buddy. Ow, why'd you bite me? So part of the reason I don't have a phone is because I spend so much time on my giant phone called the computer. It's basically the same thing. So when I leave, I want to stop that. I do have a smartphone, I just, I don't have service for it, and the only reason I got it was because I was missing packages. I order a lot of things online, and I was like, there's no way to get them. So I had to devise a situation, so I was like, okay, get a smartphone, and there's a free app. I use Fongo, down below, there's no links, I make no money off it. Fongo is just a free app that you need Wi-Fi for. So once I leave the house, it's useless unless I'm going to like a Tim Hortons or something and I have Wi-Fi. So nobody can contact me if I leave the house. But when I'm here, it's like I have a phone and I can get my deliveries. That's the only thing I use it for. I'm a loser. I was thinking of signing up though to service the cheapest one, free text, free incoming calls. <laughs> so I'd be one of those losers who calls you like, hey, call me back. Oh God. I get a hundred minutes free just because I think my current situation where I only can be reached here and once I leave I can't be contacted I'm sending the universe a signal that I don't ever want friends it's like oh why would I need a phone to contact other human beings I don't know any so if I had a phone I might be like okay maybe I'll meet some friends now hey what's your number buddy I'll text you when I'm there I don't know what friends do. It also could be useful. I meet my mom to go play ping pong. One time we switched the location. I was like, okay, let's meet here. And I went there, but she went to the other one. And there was no way of us to communicate that she was wrong and I was right. And so it's like, uh. so I just went home and we actually saw each other. It worked. So I don't need a phone. I debunked myself. But say I did get a phone, there are dangers to it. I've seen the studies, like you hold a phone up there and then the tumor grows right there in the shape of a phone, a phone shaped tumor. Take that science. I just, I, I'd get a headset, I'd have it on a selfie stick, 15 feet away, long cord. I'd look like a moron, I'd probably get struck by lightning. Speaking of radiation, I just need to clarify something here on the Q links. We are having a sale by the way, buy one, get one free. Details down below. It's hard to explain what this does. It doesn't block radiation from a phone. So if you have one, you're still getting it. It doesn't deflect it. Just the way I explain it is it does deflect it, but it doesn't according to Scientology. What it does is strengthen you in a copper-like fashion. And then you're stronger and then less affected by radiation. It doesn't block it, it doesn't deflect, but it helps you in hippie ways. All I can give you is anecdotal evidence that I feel better wearing it. I'm not a Scientologist, I can't do the studies for you. There are studies, I've posted the links, but who cares, just try it. I have such vivid, lucid dreams now. I had one the other day where I was like, I realized I was dreaming and I was like, okay, 
God, heal me, God. And I was floating up into the sky and there was all these things and I was going through them like a maze. I was like, yeah. <laughs> this is what that does. Somebody left a comment about purple plates by Tesla, Nikola Tesla making purple plates. And I was like, what's that? And I Googled it and I'm like, you know I ordered some. I got one big plate for under my water. I'll review them. I'll let you know if they're hippie shit or they work. I got a bunch of little ones like this. Maybe I'll attach one to the Q-Link. Q-Link plus Tesla purple power. Don't you? And I got the bracelets, the Shungite and a array of different crystals. I'm a hippie now and an organite pyramid. Are you believing it? Focus on it. Oh, Fuji, you let me down. Oh, I tried one time to abandon my Sony. Uh, and that's what happens. Come on. Come on. Oh, you piece of shit. So back to the cell phones. I just, I don't like cell phone culture. The modern day human being who slunched over like a nerd, just ignoring everybody. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, you're getting hit by a car? Oh, I'll finish the game first. I'll help you after. It's just such a disgusting human that we're turning into these hunch neck tech neck freaks who care about nothing i'll meet you on facebook i don't want to leave the house unsubbed i blocked you you don't even know it because facebook won't tell you but you just send messages to my inbox and i never see them hanging out on social media is not hanging out you're not laughing together there's no connection i remember connections are doing mushrooms just button mushrooms. Just eating a meal with mushrooms in them. That's all I'm saying. YouTube. No need to punish me. And laughing. Just ah, rapping together. Me and my friends used to freestyle. I've had friends. Seven of them. They're all dead. I don't know what it is with me with my loner personnel. I meet people. I meet them. I met some guy last year. We are like instant connection. I saw him working out calisthenics. I even filmed them briefly. I was like, oh, look at that. And we are talking about law of attraction. We walked down to Eaton Center. I was taking back my Samsung Note 10 Plus that I just bought for the camera. And I was like, no way, that camera sucks. We had a connection. We exchanged numbers. I never called him back. I don't know why. He was the coolest guy. He was from Iran or something, Iraq. He's had stories to tell. I could have heard them by the campfire. And I didn't do it. I met some guy a couple months ago. He had a lens that I wanted to test on my Sony a7S III. And so we met up and we were laughing, fun times. Like anytime you wanna hang out, it's like, all right, buddy. And he'll email me <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, kind of busy. And I'll just completely ignore him. I don't know what's wrong. Something's wrong with me for sure. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Is this video about cell phones or just like a therapy session for me? It's one of those. But so right now, I am in 2020, surviving with no phone, and it is possible if you have no friends or life. So there's that. And look who's avoiding radiation poisoning. I'll die sooner because of no contact with other human beings. It's proven by science. But thankfully the Q-Link pendant will offset whatever negatives of being a loser are so to sum it up you don't need a phone they are dangerous this could protect you in ways that can't be measured by science and there is a buy one get one free sale i'm just gonna go after you thumb up the video thumb it down if you have a holographic phone you implanted it behind your eyes. It's not healthy. It's not proven by Scientology. Where's the double blind studies? Rats didn't like it. So it's not even worth trying. I'm going to go. Thanks for taking advantage of the Q-Link pendant sale and watching a Fuji episode. Oh, I'm getting brighter. That was a mistake. I go, oh, subscribe over there, seeing it.